back home again in Indiana from the PCA, the Premium Cigar Association trade show in Las Vegas. Uh, the question usually when we do one of these wrap-ups is what was the takeaway? So I'll, I'll start with you, Fingers Malloy. Your takeaway from the Premium Cigar Association trade show. You know, it's interesting. We talked to a, a lot of the cigar manufacturers and publicly and privately, they both said, you know, we aren't making as many transactions, uh, but what we're selling in those transactions, we're, we're selling a lot more. So it felt like that their sales, while not as many sales, they were selling just as many cigars. The other thing that I noticed, Tony, and I, I think maybe you agree with this, is that it felt like there just wasn't as much foot traffic there as there was yeah. in previous years. That is, we, we both said that in terms of, so you've got the manufacturers that are all set up there and people selling accessories to, to uh, shops like here where we're recording at Blend Bar Cigar. So the retailers, the people actually doing the buying, there seemed to be less of them. That was our, our anecdotal take that there was just less foot traffic less of the actual shops that were there. And that could be for a myriad of reasons. Maybe it was just the cost of the hotels, the cost of flights, things like that. They're like, you know, we'll place our order. We'll miss out maybe on some PCA exclusives because they have cigars there that you can get for your shop only if you're at uh, the, the show. Uh, but yes, we did hear a bunch of people talk about how they were getting bigger orders yeah. for their lounges. Yeah, the other thing that seemed to be a theme talking to people was, you know, there was a big announcement from the PCA that next year it will still be in Las Vegas. But in 2025, apparently they're going to make a move and head back to New Orleans. It's been a little while yeah. since they've been there. So there's been there was some talk about what that show will be like compared to Las Vegas. The other takeaway I got from the trade show, from the PCA, was that we all have to get ready for a price increase. Big conversation about how the cigars that we've all been smoking, and remember, cigars have had a huge explosion over the past few years because of COVID. Uh, that is tobacco that they had already been either fermenting, working on, that was an earlier crop. Well, there are new crops coming out, and because of a whole series of things, generalized labor costs, fertilizer issues that have to do with what's going on in Ukraine with the invasion from Russia, we are going to see price increases in 2024 and 2025 on cigars, that seems almost a fait accompli. We talked for the last couple of years about supply chain issues and that was causing a price increase. And then of course, with this inflationary cycle that we're, we're currently in, we were seeing more price increases, but at least it felt like some of the supply chain issues were kind of being corrected. But then we've got this whole new slew of issues between a shortage of cigar rollers. Yeah. Uh, and, and then talking about the, the fertilizer shortages, it, that's going to creep in. So it's just a whole new set of problems that we're going to have to worry about. They all said that they don't see things going back to 2019 levels and they're measuring against 2019 because you can't measure against COVID. It was just too much of an explosion. And they all feel even though things have settled a bit, it's above 2019. And everyone was very happy about that, that this new crop of cigar smokers, people smoking more often means a good a good future. We'll see how that happens and how that play is going into 24 and 25. I think the other thing to take away from it is we're getting more celebrities into uh, the cigar industry. Of course, Guy Fieri had tremendous success with the Knuckle Sandwich and Espinosa cigars. And then we have an interview. You interviewed Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson, and he's gotten into the cigar market. Yeah, 85 cigars, 80 number five. Cigar.com is his brand, of course, formerly of the Cincinnati Bengals. And we're starting to see this, but celebrity only goes so far. If you don't have the quality behind it, nothing matters. And, and for the celebrities, man, there's a real opportunity to embarrass yourself bad if you're not putting out a quality product. So we're going to check out his product this week on Eat, Drink, Smoke. And all in all, very successful trip. We've got a lot of great content that you're going to be able to see over at EatDrinkSmokeShow.com. So don't forget to head on over to the lounge, EatDrinkSmokeShow.com. Check it out, and we'd love it if you would be a supporter. That's the wrap-up from the PCA 2023. It's good to be home again. That's Fingers Malloy. I'm Tony Katz. Eat, drink, smoke. EatDrinkSmokeShow.com.